Oh, that was close. Thankfully, this car has an airbag which would have protected me in case of an accident. But how? When a car crashes or comes to a sudden halt, the passengers fall forward. You must have experienced this too when a car or a bus suddenly stops. And even with the seatbelt on, the passenger's head may move forward and hit the steering wheel or the dashboard, leading to a serious injury. Now imagine, if there was an airbag, it would slow down the movement of the passenger's head, thus reducing the chance of serious injury. Isn't this similar to how it hurts more if we fall on a hard floor and less if it is a soft mattress instead? Let's understand the physics behind it. Every moving object has momentum, which is simply its mass multiplied by its velocity. Heavier the object and higher its velocity, higher is its momentum. Now, when the body comes to a sudden halt, its velocity goes down to zero in an instant, making the momentum zero as well. This sudden drop in momentum is felt as the force of impact. The impact force is what causes injuries when we hit something. Like when I fall on the hard floor, my momentum drops suddenly and it hurts more. But as I fall on a mattress, it compresses. So my momentum drops at a slower rate and it hurts less. That means the rate of momentum change is related to the impact force. This is actually Newton's second law of motion which states that the force on a body is equal to its rate of change of momentum. So for the same mass travelling at the same velocity, if the momentum takes longer to change, the impact force becomes much lower. This is what the airbag does. When the head hits the airbag, the air starts coming out through these holes. This makes the passenger's head move forward slowly and it takes a longer time for their momentum to become zero. Just like it did when I fell on the mattress instead of the hard floor. So, the impact force is lower now and chances of injury are reduced. And one more thing, the airbag also spreads out the impact force over a larger area of the face rather than at a single point. And this further reduces the chances of injury. So, now you know how airbags use the second law of motion to protect us from injuries. By the way, do you know why helmets have a thick layer of foam inside them? Let me know in the comment section below and for more such impactful and conceptually clear videos, subscribe to our channel.